Gemma Hoskins. Gemma is a former student of Sister Kathy Sesnick. Hoskins played a key role in the documentary, The Keepers, showing her relentless search for justice in both Sister Kathy and Joyce Malecki's murders. And Gemma Hoskins joins us now. Gemma, do you consider this, the FBI exhuming the body of Joyce Malecki this week a win? I'm going to be really honest, and thank you for this opportunity, Elizabeth. The Maleckis know that I do not agree that this is a win. Um, that is a dear family, and if anybody deserves closure, they do. But my feeling, and I've researched this with funeral directors, is that the chances of finding someone else's DNA on Joyce's body, she was cleaned, she was embalmed, and she was not in the clothes in which she was found. And their opinion is that the chances are slim to none that someone else's DNA is on her body. Now, if they need a profile of Joyce's DNA, they have her family. Wouldn't be mm -hmm. interested. Wouldn't be uh, necessary to exhume her body. But I, I have to say, and what I've learned, that I think the FBI is jerking this family around. What they've been asking for for 55 years are the 4,000 pages of files on Joyce's case. And the FBI refuses to even release her autopsy to the family. That's extraordinary. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean, that they haven't. Yes. I mean, and even just in the report that Evan was just quoting from, we yeah. think it was either strangulation or drowning as a cause of death. I want to, you know, draw your attention to a recent report just in April from the Maryland uh, Attorney General's office detailing right. decades of sexual abuse claims against more than 100 leaders of the Baltimore Catholic Church, in particular, a father, Joseph Maskell, who was assigned to an all-girls Catholic school where Joyce attended and where Sister Kathy worked. The report right. says that that priest sexually abused at least 39 girls, some of whom confided in Sister Kathy, and several victims say that Sister Kathy confronted Father, father Maskell right before she was murdered. Correct. I was one of her students. And I just want to clarify, Joyce did not go to Archbishop Keogh. She was several years older than we were, and the school just opened the year before I entered. So she belonged to the parish where Joseph Maskell was the assistant pastor, but she did not go to Keogh. Now, a year ago, when we found out that the attorney general's report was finished, that's when the FBI made the overture to the Maleckis about exhuming Joyce's body. They still refuse to release the files. And I think the answers to all of this are in those 4,000 pages. There Has needs anybody to be seen them? The FBI. That's it. That's it. And they, we, we have filed FOIA requests. We have worked through our uh, senators in Maryland, Barbara Mikulski, Chris Van Hollen. We have delivered letters to Avril Haynes, who was the um, head of all the security agencies. She came from Baltimore. We have... And none of them can help you? Nothing. And so what happened was the FBI, when our FOIA request, Elizabeth, kept saying that the files were awaiting an analyst. Because during the Obama administration, as you know, there was a lot of scrutiny because of the long turnaround right. time on files. And so they could get out 10 short files while this big file get, kept getting pushed back. All of a sudden, last year, when we find out the attorney general's report's coming out, the uh, status changes to not available. Okay. And that's what, that's what the president's received, and that's what we received. So uh, I, I really feel like this is a smokescreen. Gemma and Hoskins. This is my I, opinion. Uh, I hope you're wrong, but you would know better than most. You have spent years dedicated to solving these unsolved murders and bringing justice for both Sister Kathy as well as Joyce Malecki's family. Uh, thanks so much for being uh, with us tonight. I'm sure we want to follow this story, so I'm sure we'll call on you again if there are any new developments, no, and we hope there are. Great. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.